Hey everyone, welcome to the Game Week 29 preview video where we got the final last 10 game weeks upon us now. Um, kind of an interesting uh, preview video as there's, I don't really know if much is going to be said here. Uh, we're going to see my starting lineup, but as far as transfers go, I just can't pick someone to transfer out. There have definitely been players on my team that have been underperforming, but I'm almost just too scared to let go of them because they have such good fixtures and they could just snap off on a game at any point. Players like Chalinoglu, Milinkovic Savic, uh, Brahim Diaz and Sergio uh, Oliveira, all of them had were doing so good. I got them on my team in the shuffle and now they just haven't been doing good at all. Um, so that's kind of the issue right now is that I just I don't want to transfer any of them out. I know they all have the potential to get really big scores. Last week was okay. I dropped a bit in the standings, weirdly enough, with like a 64-point week. Um, but I can see another big score this week. If you kind of look back to one of my chip uh, suggestion videos, this was a week that is definitely targetable for people to use a um, all-in chip if you still have yours. I've already used mine, but if you still have your all-in chip, it's a great week to do it. As you can see what my bench is looking like right now, I have great fixtures aside from uh, single against uh, Inter, but it would have been a good week to have an all-in chip. Good fixtures all the way through. But let's take a look at what the squad looks like. Just before that, please don't forget to like and subscribe um, to help keep around the channel. Anyway, we got Chesney and Net as per usual. Um, if I do make a transfer, maybe just because if I don't use it, I lose it. I'll just bring in a different 3.9 or less goalkeeper, just so it's one that's not flagged. Um, maybe I guess that makes sense. Maybe I'll just use my transfer, and it'll just be a 3.9 keeper from a team that I don't have any players up from. Uh, you don't want to do it from a team like uh, Milan, Juve, Inter, Napoli, because then that takes up a spot for having a player on that team. So just make sure it's a team that you don't need three spots for um if you're ever making a transfer like this but it's literally they probably will have little to no impact on what happens in the season but i guess if a starting goalie for one of these teams gets injured potentially that goalie might come up so it's like a very off chance very insignificant but i guess it would make sense rather than just not using it at all um in the defense, we have Patrick, who surprisingly didn't play last game. Uh, but against Venezia, I'm hoping that he starts again. We got Smalling uh, against Udinese, definitely a possible clean sheet. Calabria against Empoli, so upset that I dropped those 10 points that Calabria got last week. Um, but he'll be in the squad this week. Bastoni against Torino. So any of those or all of those games could be clean sheets. Absolutely good fixtures this week for my defense. In the midfield, we got Chalinoglu, Milinkovic, Savic, and Cuadrado. All of them very well could put up big scores. I'm sitting Brahim Diaz, who's been playing terrible, didn't even hasn't even been playing 60 minutes, if playing at all. Um, the thing is, like against Empoli, could have a big score, maybe not, but I'm not gonna have him in and risk just another one pointer if that from him. Uh, so I'm gonna sit him and. I don't think it's a horrible bench option if he does play and one of my players don't play. It could be good coming off the bench, but I don't want to start him this week. And forward, the usual forward trio. We got Vlavic, Leao, and Dzeko going again. All of them with good fixtures. Captain on Vlavic. I'm a little less like up in the air about it. I think uh, Vlavic is due for a goal right now. And it's just, it's hard for me to captain Dzeko because he is part of a forward rotation where he generally will get 60 to 30 to 60 minutes a game. Um, obviously, it would have been good last week to do it where he scored two goals, but uh, it's hard to call that. And it's just less risky going for someone like Vlaovic. Even layout, any of my strikers would be a fine captain choice, I think. Um, Vlaovic and Jekko as a more central. But I think I'm going to stick with Vlaovic. He's been the most consistent over the course of the season. Not lately. Hasn't been great lately, but over the course of the season. And I think he will come and score a goal against Simtoria. On the bench, we got Brahim Diaz, Sergio Oliveira, and Singu. And Singo. Um, Sergio Oliveira is someone I'm... The only reason I'm not transferring him out is he's not taking up a lot of cap space. So he's actually a decent player to have if uh, just, just to be on the bench every week but that might uh, change. So you kind of know my transfer plans. They're not really anything. Um, 
Let's actually just go see if I can just quickly do it now. We got goalkeepers. Bring it down to four max. And there's got to be some other. There's some 3.9s here. Bears just played for Torino. I don't think I'd want to bring in three Torino at any point. And he's the only one other than Pegolo that seems like he's been playing. And I'm just going to take a quick scan at the fixtures here just to see which one would make more sense ideally in the long run. Not that it's going to happen. Um, all right, I'll bring in Pegolo just for the sake of making a switch. Um, actually, or should I just sit on it till tomorrow morning to see if anything happens? Okay, I'm just going to sit on it right now. I'm thinking just bring in Pegolo dropping uh, Lazzarini. That's my cause of right now, but I'm just going to sit on it and see if any late injury news comes up, okay? But that's as far as the transfer stuff. I'm just going to uh, go to the homepage, quickly see what the top purchases and sales are. Uh, yeah, we had some good Lazio midfield last week. Raspadori and Berardi has been doing great in Capri. All five of these forms make a lot of sense to be bringing in. They've all been consistent players. And uh, especially last week, which is normally the draw to bring in players the most previous week. Where we have getting rid of Theo here is a big mistake, I think. I think he's one of the most that you should be bringing in, as I've been, I've kept reiterating that. Uh, Dabala drop makes sense. Chalanoglu has been disappointing, makes sense. Barak and Simeone maybe are cooling off a get bit, but Barak's still been doing well as well. And Simeone, I don't know about those two, but... Maybe just uh, maybe their good run of fixtures is coming up or something. Uh, I haven't checked into them too, too much just because I've been pretty set on things. It's been hard to get rid of players. I have players that have good long stretches of game weeks. Uh, and really the only reason I'd want to be getting rid of people right now is through injuries and, or if I figured out that they're not playing for other reasons. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how my team's shaking up right now. How, what's your team looking like? Uh, and uh, yeah, let me know if you think I should be making a different transfer. I know a lot of people would probably say get out Diaz or Chalinoglu at this point. Uh, but I don't know. It's just uh, tough for me to do that right now, just with the fixtures. And I want three uh, Inter and AC Milan players right now. Um, but anyway, yeah, let me know what you think. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you all soon.